Tesco Classics are streaming this summer. Here's why to watch. Anime fans knows, or at least learns quickly, that also Tesco was instrumental in creating anime as we know it today. His early creations drew from both Eastern and Western sources, combining into the art form we know and love, and fans who want to experience those shows for themselves can. Thanks to the summer's new Retro Crush premieres, we understand there's a lot of stuff out there talking and the new show is no small feat, so if you still need research to try out these titles from the manga master, let us talk you into it. Princess Knight, the first shoujo anime, first to premiere in Retro Crush this summer as Princess Knight, Tezuka's tale of a young princess named Sapphire, living as a poor she, so she can eventually rule her kingdom, at least. This is what she really rule. As it happens, Sapphire accidentally received two different colored hearts, denoting gender, before she was born. Thanks to the angel Tink's clumsiness, Tink arrives at retrieving Sapphire's blue boy heart to correct his slip up, leaving her with the pink girl heart she ought to have. But Sapphire is perfectly happy as she is, and Tink instead accompanies her as to protect her right to ascend the throne. Princess Knight originally ran as a manga shoujo club, commissioned in hopes of replicating the same success that Tezuka's boy Rieta stories achieved. Inspired by the woman at the Takarazuka Review, who played male and female roles, Safa will herself to go and inspire series like Revolutionary Girl Yatina. Astro Boy, the building blocks of anime. This is much as Tezuka himself made anime when we know it is today. His series Astro Boy draws those elements home, released in Japan as Tetsuwan Atom. The Pinocchio SQ story is equal part sci fi drama and sometimes just plain weird. A scientist created Astro or Atom to replace his recently deceased son. But that naturally doesn't help matters. He sells Astro to the circus, as he as he do. Unfortunately, Astro finds a home with Doctor Elephant, who builds him a robot family and accompanies him in world-saving adventures. Astro Boy will help define the quirkiness, comedy, drama, action, and often world sci-fi and fantasy elements that inhabit anime today. It's been remade many times, but the original is still a must-watch. Kimba the White Lion, indicate yourself at the Disney controversy. Tessica's Kimba the White Lion, released in Japan as Jungle Emperor Leo, stands alone as an interesting entertainment series, but it's also stood in the middle of the controversy for several years. And if you actually watch the new show, you realize the controversy is kind of pointless and existence. If you're not seeing Kimba, you're likely not it as a series that the Lion King totally plagiarized. Except it didn't. Not really. For one, Kimba being so long that you can find you just about any plot point you wanted in it, including many from The Lion King. But another thing, most of the clips are screenshots used to show the alleged plagiarism come from a Kimba movie made after The Lion King. Of course, the best way to lay it to rest is to watch it yourself, and you have a good time as you do. Keep an eye out for the state of classics coming this summer to Dorcha Crush.